Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Schaefer D. We're in episode 28 and in this episode we're going to be selling the letters as we are broke. Now we're in January. It's 12.49. The previous episode, we've mowed the grass, we've made a few grass bales. We're minus 402 pounds, but we've got all this letters. Now, I've already stacked the letters up for us. As you can see, if we go to the shop, it's 3,351 pounds per thousand liter. That's the best we can get for January. That's the highest. So we're going to go in and sell it quick before the market takes a dip. So what we want to do... Oh, okay. The snow is clearing out. That's nice. So we're going to head over to the farm shop. Okay, we hooked in. Close the trail up. I just want to see if the sale goes away there at the end. Yeah, it's closed. Beacon lights on. Let's get to the farm shop as we need to make a bit of money because we are broke as you can get indicator on there's no traffic coming this side there's nothing so let's head up to the shop while we're heading up there just want to say thanks to all the subscribers I really do appreciate you subscribing to my channel it helps a lot for those who haven't subscribed yet, please do click on the subscribe button. I'll really appreciate it a lot. So we're hoping to make a pretty penny out of this. We make, if I can make 50,000 pounds just to carry us through until the next letters run or egg sale or tomorrow we can sell sunflower oil in February. That's nice. This is so heavy. It shows the 26,000 liters, but I know it's more than that. Because it was at 26,000, then I added more pallets to it, and it stayed at 26,000 liters. So we're a bit overloaded here. Not a bit, a lot. There's no traffic coming there, no traffic coming there. We surely want to sell all of this, get good money for it, and then we can carry on from there. We still have a loan to pay. So I'll take some of this that we're going to get from here and contribute that to the loan. And then we also need to, I'm pretty sure, get some A going. I'll use one field for loose grass and another or maybe we will dump that in our silage clamp. That's a good idea. Okay, we need to turn right here, just slow down a bit as we are overloaded. Okay, then we'll yeah, I think we'll start the silage as well. Get the silage going there. Brilliant idea. This tractor has a lot of horsepower behind it. It's just below 500 horses and yet it's pulling for all its dear life. I haven't collected all the collectibles yet. There's still a lot outstanding. I'll check now how many more we must still collect. So yeah, I'm quite eager to see what we're going to get for this. Turn left in here. I'm going to go into third person so that we can open the trail and view the pallets as they sell. There's nothing more satisfying than that for me. Okay, let's see. Yeah. 
This is the side I want open. Let's remove all those straps. I think if I counted correctly it was like 56 pallets or something. So let's start selling everyone. Boom 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 boom. Just back it up a bit to make sure we sell everything in the front. As it sells, I want to move forward so that we can get one grand total. Oh, that's nice so far. Yeah, body. I was hoping for 100, but if we can need 90, that's happy days. Gucci, baby. 90k. So, obviously, the first thing that I want to do, sorry, it's showing the saving screen again. First thing I need to do pay some of it to the loan let's see where our loan is at I know we're deep in debt with that it's like 220 yeah because if I can pay whoa why am I loaning no, don't loan money please if I can take it down to 40k okay we owe the bank 170,000 pounds still. Not bad. No vehicles coming. I'm so excited about the money that I nearly rolled a tractor now. Ah. Uh -huh. All we need to do now, we've got 40,000 pounds. Now, this is where the problem comes in. Tomorrow we can sell the sunflower oil. There's a pretty penny for that as well. Then I need to hold on to that money until November time again. Oh, my indicator is still on all the way. Now, a lot of you will ask, why do you want to hold on to November month to make things happen? The problem that we've got is we can only sell the eggs again in November. I surely do need more production chains. I wanted to do a furniture run, but to be honest with you guys, I'm not even going to lie. I can't do wood logging or forestry to save my life to be honest with you so we will rather go for productions that I know I can make money out of turn in there indicate off almost at the farm the letters will carry on going and we'll see one of these days will be set up once i've got the sunflower field ready we'll be making money good money the reason why i say that is then we will have way more sunflower oil to make and we'll be pumping in that regard i wanna surely wanna buy another f additional field When we get the sheep in the beginning, we will not be making money out of the sheep, to be honest with you. The reason why I say that is the wool production will purely be to stack up the wool and build it up in case we need money for... Oh, the wool will be for the textile factory. Okay, let's uncouple from that get this unit parked away then we'll quickly check what else or what's next on the list of doing i was thinking of putting a beehive but first i want to i check the prices for the sheep it's a bit a bit above my fireplace for now now i was looking all over where i can place this beehive the only place that I can see suitable for it's right against this wall somewhere. 
because if we look at our map here let me just scroll up for you guys here's all our fields I can't place it in the center here because that will create a problem for the workers so what I was thinking is placing it right against this wall here and the bees will still pollinate all of this I was thinking of placing it here but then I'm missing out on those two fields so what is the price tag on what are specials today <laughs> we've already got a cultivator nothing that we need for now okay let's go over to the bees wow 19k well we need it so let's put it in let's just see if it's more or less flush I don't know why with I think there like there should be okay or oh yeah, at the end where it won't disturb yeah okay so we've got that can take more pallets that can take even more five by four how big is that that's quite large so if I can place that I can't see the outlines let's just zoom in a bit oh there it is with what is it overlapping if I can bring it to there there's our spawning point only one allowed per farm okay okay so we've got the bees going not that I hear anything I don't see anything Thirty three legs to guys. Okay, but we've got that now. So I wanted that the reason why I want that is I wanna put away or store the honey. The best price for honey is three thousand three hundred and thirty six pounds, which is not bad in March. If we run out of cash flow we can sell the honey off. It's not a bad idea. So we've got honey going, we've got that going. So how far is this from harvesting? Still growing? This side? Our wheat is still growing? So there's not much we can do today. But what we can do is go and rest. Come back fresh in the morning. And start again now. We're in Jan now, February, there's not much we can do. That's when we can do all the fields and get the grass off there. So I'm going to take it to 9 o'clock in the morning. We rest up, at least we've got some cash in our reserves now. So we're at 19,426 pounds. It's February, nine, two minutes past nine in the morning. Let's just move these away here. I'm hoping that the bees will start doing its thing. If I don't see any pallets spawn, then I know there's a problem. Now, oh, I hate it when it does that. Our egg collection is, we're piling them up again, ready to go in January. Now I was looking at various factors here. As soon as we've got more than enough wheat, 
we might be selling one of our greenhouses to put another chicken coop in there we might be selling one of these just to get another chicken coop we're already up to six pallets there which is a good thing I don't think we will be seeing any whoa we've got honey that's nice very nice okay let's look at our grass fields over here still growing oh my golly days this one over here I don't know if it needs a run of fertilizer over here it's still growing as well hmm fertilized 50% our grass regrows on its own so we don't need to I don't know this field if I'm going to fertilize it if it's not fertilized due to the fact that if I do put fertilizer on there we will not make it because we are in Feb now if we look at this March I'm going to put some flowers in there so this is going to be a waste for me I just want to check our normal field let's take that out of the equation quickly well that's still fertilized I think I've planted that one a little bit late yeah I'm not going to apply any fertilizer we did harvest this one we did mow it in the previous episode this is fully done and that one is still going so the problem that I've got now is we're going to lose all this grass if it does not grow quickly because then I need to cultivate and prepare this field and make it bigger for the sunflowers then we've only got this one field to run down and I've wasted all the seed in this field so I don't you can't really see at what growth stage it is it's just showing nothing so yes I'm almost certain we're going to lose this field I'm almost certain that I'll be preparing this field for some flowers which is not a problem for us I think what I need to do now I'm gonna lose this I know I am but that's fine with me what I will do is prepare this field make it larger get this done make this one straight zone yes and I'll go from that field put a worker on go a little bit wide not too much just a tad over to the side because yeah I want to keep this if I come down here with a trailer I don't want issues here and I want this field if you look at these two fields this one runs here and it runs over there so this I'll keep a standard as it is now but I'll go over a little bit let's get the plow out of here we're going to lose both of these fields now this I'm not too concerned about because we did get grass out of it what requirement is needed oh slurry 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 but I can't afford it at the moment I just I know that's a normal trailer for 23,000 what can we sell our small trailer for huh I don't even think that no, it's not even worth it to try we are sitting on 19,000 I'm not going to go into debt now because it's a catchy situation. Okay, let's go. Sorry, guys. Let's go over to our medium tractor. That is 170 horsepower. Now, our plow requires hmm, 320 horses. Good gracious. Luckily, these are big boys. 458 horses so yeah it will be one of our big berthas to do the job nothing new so 
we'll be prepping this field now for tomorrow's run unfortunately unfold this unit now what I need to do is I need to see I'll start off here now I'll have to enable this for you guys to see now if you see the R1 there's nothing the triangle allow to create field so you hold L1 in you press triangle let's lower this piece down ok we can still go a little bit closer to the edge here A little tad closer. This is how I work it out. That seems like it's on the border. So I'm going to leave this worker to go across like this. Okay. Stop him right there. So what you do, you're already lined up. You just lower it down and hit it straight. It should remain straight. So you just go with it, just like it is now. Let it go all the way down. We're getting like one additional row added. Let's see what he's going to do here at the end. Hopefully it does not overshoot. No. Lovely stuff. Lovely, 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 lovely. Okay, so that is prepped the way I want it. If you look at it, it should be a nice straight line right through. Yes, it is. Okay, now this is going to be a bit more tricky. Because we have to do two sides here. Okay, so I'm thinking of going that wide. Just like that, that should be enough. So let's just push the worker in here. That should be enough clearance for us at the end of the field. Okay, so I'm going to wait for him to reach the end like that. Stop him. Put the plow down again. Go with it. Enable worker. Then he keeps a very straight line all the way down so that you don't go side to side and the field looks all wonky I constantly need to move my mic around to make sure that my mic is in the right place now, yeah we might have to is that all the way in? yes it is nicely done now we've extended the field quite a bit here, which is phenomenal. Now we need to sort out the other side, and then we'll come and remove the inner. He's quite bouncy, jeeper. Okay, now to get this worker lined up, this is now where the problem kicks in. How far are we off here? I don't think that's lined up. I don't want to mess this up, guys. No, that looks good. That looks the same as the other side. We'll come drive down here now and see for ourselves. The only problem I've got here is by the end of the field here, yeah, I think we might be digging into the tar road a bit. But we'll stop him right there. So what we're going to do is I'll make this part around here. Shave a deep. Don't dig into the tar road now. Wait, it's not digging into the tar road. Okay, so I'll make that so that it goes all the way against the tar road there. Just like that, she for D. 
Now yeah, I want to go like one lane. Oh, I already pick up that plowshare for me. I don't want to go too far in because then the worker can't turn around with the trees. It will pick up the trees there. Oh, I made a little bit of a boo-boo on that side. Yeah, just like that. That's what I want, just to even it out nicely. I might go and landscape that little bit of the field down there, on that side. Yeah, I think that's exactly what we will be doing. Okay, now, let's take out the center and then we'll come fix up the end here. I'll see now what we're going to do there. Then I'll set the worker in motion to just plow the old field out. I'm not going to waste time. Okay, let's come in a little bit wider just to get everything evened out nicely. Okay, let's just pick up one row of that field there. Okay, wait for it. There we go. Set the work on his merry way. He's eating it hard now. I love it. I truly love it. There at the end I might bring the field back up this way a little bit. We'll see what we're going to do with that. Is it turning left or right? Right. So let's go through here. Now both fields are joined. It's one field now. No, worker, please. There we go. After you're done, just make sure that you switch off the allowed to create fields because that, if you do not switch that off, <laughs> you'll find a little bit of a problem. Okay, so I'm going to switch it off, L1 and triangle, so that it shows, once you got it on allow to create fields, you know, on the right track. Okay, so, I'm just going to switch the worker in here to plow out the whole field. I want to quickly look at something, I might bring the field back on the other end a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so while that worker is going crazy there, let's just jump out of the way here. Plow out the whole field, bro. Okay, let's go to construction. I just want to see if we go to landscaping. We pop over to painting and we just scroll over to grass. I just want to see something here because I don't like the fact that we are on the road in that corner if it means I have to cut out a little bit of the field so be it then we do that I'm not a huge fan of the cut out the field now if we spray here I'm just gonna hit one uh, I'm wondering maybe we should end the field like that ish let me just zoom out a little bit. Like that. Or even like that. Yeah. We're losing a bit. But it's fine. Yeah, I think that is what I want to do. I don't like the bit that we going onto the tar road there. That's why I'm doing this. I know a lot of people will say, but Schaefer, you are losing so much crop. No, I know. But that is what I want to do. I want to keep it Gucci. I nearly went over there now. I want to keep it balanced throughout. Yeah, that's what I want. 
is. So let me minimize that little bit. Just to see if I can get that little bit covered up. I mean, to be honest with you, we've still gained a whole lot of field by bringing that in and that center part. So that will cover up for this that we've lost here. So this field will be gigantic. That created a nice turnaround space for our vehicles. I'm quite happy with that. That is something that I'm looking forward to. Yeah, body. You just keep on doing what you are doing there. Once this tractor is done, I will bring our cultivator in just to cultivate and create a nice seed bed. And then we'll take it from there. I just want to see. Sorry for jumping around like this, guys. I just need to see how our fertilizer state looks for the other fields. Uh, okay. That is being plowed. Our fertilizer there and there and there is quite nice. It's good. Those three fields. This one I'm plowing out now. This I can fertilize even further once we're done. That unfortunately will remain there now. There's nothing I can do about that. Once we fertilize, I think that will also go light blue. But this is good. Because now these two fields is one field. I love it. It will show its combine after the first harvest. So let me jump in with this and let's see. Oh yes, this is going to look so nice. We're combining two because next month we will be going into what we need to do. I just realized now this is the month that we can sell some flower oil. Why don't 6362 yes it is wow ok while this worker carries on here let's go load that up let's bring our pickup area now by doing that sunflower fill combining the two that's gonna bump there don't bump it please yeah, it's out. Okay, so if we do that, it means we will have a lot of sunflower oil for, or the sunflower seeds for the oil mill, so that we can produce way more sunflower oil. So I'll keep an eye on it. As soon as the price action reaches its max, then that will be our cue to start doing what we should be doing just back that up there switch this pick up off okay, so I'm gonna load like this here's more money to contribute to our loan for me now we'll see maybe there's enough to buy the sheep pen now I don't know pallet shoot respawn I did switch off the oil mill ok that's in strap that down to make sure nothing falls out I've tried loading two next to each other the other way but it doesn't work it creates a bit of a problem. Okay, just move that over. Come on, Shafer D. Get this in there, boy. Okay, that one is loaded. They should have spawned. Oh, yeah. I think enough. Yes, as soon as we pick it up, the next one spawns. So we've got quite a lot of sunflower oil. I don't think it will be enough for us to 
do something like magical about this situation but it should be good still it should be favorable if I must put it that way I mean gee another pallet spawns if you take it it's about 6200 pounds per pallet or per thousand liters so we don't know how many liters we're gonna make out of this but it's gonna be good if another pallet spawns I'll just move it and load it up above the axle so that the load is well balanced it's always something you need to look at okay, that's loaded up I'll check now in the mill info section if there's at least we're making money out of this and not okay yeah no there's nothing left I just want to switch off that the price is still climbing so the price action is still active which is so nice Yes, I did stop that from running. Six thousand two hundred and fifty four thousand oh six two five four pounds for every thousand liter. So we've got nine pallets on here, it's two, four, six, plus the three on top is nine. Let's go check on our tractor here. The plowing is going great. lovely stuff I know it's not the biggest plow you can find but I've went with this plow due to the fact that it's straight edged so that will be much better for us going forward I just need to swing in here every now and then I'm gonna put the time on let's put it on 10 that should be able to go a little bit until our price action equalizes. It's quarter past nine now. Still winter time. Golly. So next month. Why did he miss a little bit there? Okay, I'll just fix that a little bit up. Whatever he misses, we will rectify. So I just need to pop in like that every now and then just to see the price action. We are currently on 6256. Okay. Now here, I just need to stop this worker quickly. I just had another idea in my head. I don't know if you all, if you will agree. I think that's what I'm gonna do. The current trailer we've got is a bit small. It's a bit underrated for what we're busy doing. <coughs> now come now, boy. I sort I just need to cough quickly. <coughs> Smokers' lungs. So we've looked at this and we noticed that that's the. holds 37,000 I think I must buy that unit before it disappears off the market what's the price action like 6259 and climbing oh baby oh baby I love the way every day yeah, yeah. so once those workers finish plowing yeah I'll send the worker over to the next part of the same field to start playing that out once we cultivate this, then I'll apply the first state of fertilizer. Happy days. Such a pity on our first run we can't mulch this out. It's fine. After the first harvest, we'll eat that mulch in there like you won't believe. Okay, the worker is done. 
I stopped the worker like that. Sorry for the error message. It doesn't seem like you missed anything down here. I know there's a little spot here that he jumped. I don't know why. So let's get that little bit sorted quickly. By plowing the field, you know that it's 100%. It will be sha -na -na after that. Okay, so let's go a little bit over the edge there just to ensure that okay, let's get the ball going here there we go the worker just took over from me I just want to see what he does by the end of the field how deep he goes in with the plow yeah that is what I want to see Maybe here uh, on that flat piece will be good enough to put another shade on for something. Don't know. But we'll see what we can make fit. There may be a shade for bales or... He is turning around a bit weird, isn't he? He's missing a few spots. So let's just graze that up. Let him do a headland run here. Yeah? See what I meant by the worker picks up the collision on that side. When he picks up the, coll the collision, he stops and he just turns around. Worker A does not know where he is. <laughs> I just need to keep an eye on that price and the price action. Get that straight. Is the price action still coming? Yes, it is, honey. I can fast forward it way quicker than I am now, which I will do just now. The worker will still carry on on his merry way. Okay, the headland is plowed out. So I'm just going to chuck the worker in here and let him do his thing. Okay, so while that's happening, I'm going to bounce out here. Sorry, worker. Let's go over to our pickup. Okay, so the price actually is 6270. The most is 63. So let's bump up the time a little bit here. The worker will still carry on in his merry way. Let's take it to 360. We pop back up here. The only problem that we've got now is we need to jump up and down like that to see the prices fluctuate. 6289. Still climbing gradually. It's at 6345. Okay. 6,304.9. Is the worker still coping there? Yeah, everything's still going fine. 6331, the most is 6345. If we can get anything above that, then the price action is busy subsiding. Then that's golden. We're above it. 6357, and still climbing. Once you see the green arrow disappear, then you know it's going to start tumbling. Then you quickly need to get into it. I think what we need to do, let's stop it right there. Let's put it on real time for now. The price is still going. Let's get our pickup over to the store. Luckily there was no vehicles coming. I'm going to lock it in on 65 k's an hour. Indicators on. Our wheat is coming along nicely.
I'm really struggling to drive this pickup. I think it's because all the weight is on the one side of the trailer. It keeps on pulling me a bit to the right. But that's fine. We'll drive up to the store. Once we're at the store, we enable the time again so that it goes quicker so that we can see where the current price action wants to stop. Once we've got the price action locked in before it starts dipping, we pull in and we sell the sunflower oil. I really want to buy that trailer. I mean, doing 8,000 liters a time, which we're doing now in our current trailer, it's a bit, the capacity rating on's a bit small. It's not really what we want, so... We'll have to upgrade to that new trailer. Hopefully, by the time lapse that we did, it did not fall off the market. We'll have to go check now once we stop at the selling point. Turn up here. Enable the cruise control. Maybe we should oof it a little bit, so let me take over. We shouldn't go over the top, because then the trailer starts wobbling around. See, like it is now, it's pulling the rear end of the pickup around. That's why I locked it at 65 kilometers an hour. Just park it right there. Oh, it's still there. The saving menu. I'm sure a lot of you guys are getting annoyed with that saving message. 6,424 so far. Okay, let's bump things up a little bit. Just a notch. Just to get the price action to subside. 6,437 and still climbing see this is the way you do it because you know February as you can see is the highest for it I think we can get a little bit higher in March but the highest that we can get is 6.345 and we're already on 6.5 there it stopped so we quickly need to get the time back to normal as you will see now, maybe it already turned. Yes, 6525, and it's going to start dropping, as you can see with the red arrow. We're way above, like we're like 200 pounds above market average. So, it's night time already. Let's get the sold. Loosen the straps there. If we can get... Oh, yes. 58,727 pounds for that load I'm happy with that let's get back to you know what before that falls away from the market because I know it's going to drop away this holds 22,500 that holds 37.5 cubic meters that's 37,500 liters it can take most of the crops that you can see down there and i'm chuffed with those crops let's go and buy this i love bkt's i don't know why cover yes let's leave it at the base colors that it's at i'm not going to change the number plate we own that trailer now that was a good deal we just jumped in at the right moment to get it. I mean, now we've got a much bigger trailer. I'm delighted with that. I will be selling off the small trailer because we're not going to need it anymore. Oh. Let's just put on the cruise and get back to the farm. So what we're going to do now in the next episode or two, 
I don't know if I'm going to do it now straight off the bat. Get that trailer sold off. Our old small trailer. I might even park it aside for now. I think that's what I'm going to do. Is just park it one side. Just to make sure that if we do need it going forward. We do have it as a spare trailer. I think that's a brilliant idea. We keep it for now. Just park it aside. If we see in like half a year's time, because we don't want to keep it too long due to depreciation. Then we can park it aside. Our worker is still in the field, busy doing his thing. Hopefully it should be done by now, but I'm delighted that we caught the market where it was at. I would love to see if we let the lettuce or the sunflower oil plant run for an entire year. By the time it comes to sale time, what we'll be getting for a f like full year's worth of production. I think that will be interesting to see. Let's get the pickup backed up into there. Put everything away the way it should be. I've received a comment, Shafidi, why don't you get the rest of the collectibles and pay the loan using that? I don't know. I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't want to go that route. I would rather try and do this the right way. Let's switch off the lights to get out of this vehicle. Let's see how our worker is doing over here. He will be finishing this off. We need to fill up the diesel as well and then I'll come, I'll, I'll see there's a spot or two that is missed again. That I'll come and fix up. So maybe we'll take the Massey Ferguson. I know it's not the best vehicle to do such a task. But we'll use the Massey and go fetch our new trailer. Now this trailer which helped us a lot it really did I'm going to park this trailer aside so that we keep it for a little while on the farm just to ensure that it is here should we need it okay, let's just back this up straight ok that is good so let's get over to the dealership. Collect our new trailer. Come back with it. By that time the plow should be done. I don't see any vehicles. It's night time. I don't think the vehicles are out at night. Let's just get to the store and collect our new trailer. I'm so chuffed that we got this new trailer. I might even pull this tractor in to fill up the diesel and to service it quickly. We should by now in the next few episodes like I'm thinking maybe the next two episodes or so we'll start to bring in decent money. Oh, those seeds that I still need to come and fetch. I hope we can hook up to this. We should be able to. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is a nice trailer. I'm just hoping that our auger pipe can go in the top there. Okay, so the Massey, let's first repair, that's repaired, the spray job on it, I'm going to fix the spray on it as well, that we can repair, that we can repair, the paint on it, no, 
Okay, that's a bit too much for me now. Okay, so let's fill up the diesel fuel on this unit. Stop here, press L3. It starts putting the diesel in as you can see at the bottom. The right bottom screen, the green bar. That cost us 205 pounds. Not a bad deal. Does this trailer have any beacons to it? No, it doesn't. Oh, I love it. Does it have indicators? Yes, it does. Okay, so we just got ourselves a nice deal. I mean, once you start hitting the sunflower hard and the wheat, etc., you need a decent trailer. And it's not the best of the best, but for me, that's a good deal. That's a good day at the office. Switch on the indicator. Okay, so now we need to pull out all the stops. We've got honey going. So, I'm pretty sure when we do the next egg run, by saying egg run, I mean by selling the next batch of eggs, we'll surely get the large sheep enclosure in here. That is pretty high enough, that. Oh, that looks good. Don't bump our trailer there. I need to get the large sheep enclosure. The reason for that is... I don't want to be sitting around and then change the sheep enclosure again. And... No. We go in hard. Okay, this unit's finished. Let's just fix up all the little spots he's missed. So in the next episode, I'll be planting the sunflower. Getting that sorted out. I'll cultivate first, obviously. Get this field fully prepared for sunflower and then we'll take it from there so that's going to be the end of this episode if you've enjoyed it please do hit the like button give it a thumbs up if you want to leave a comment please feel free to do so if you want to share this video please be my guest guys and girls please do not forget to subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it that's going to be it for this episode Thanks for watching everybody, see you in the next one.